I am Professor Milligan. Welcome to Ask the Professor, where I answer questions on investing in a plain and simple way. One of my listeners emailed the question in, and the question was, what is earnings season and why should I care? Every publicly traded company has earnings. Earnings is the number one cash flow used by Wall Street to value a business. Now, earnings are the total revenue for a corporation, less expenses, that's a corporation's net income. Net income belong to the common stockholder. It's what Wall Street uses to value the business. Higher earnings, higher earnings growth, you're gonna see a higher growth stock. Earnings are decreasing, going down, stocks in a negative mode, all right? This is what Wall Street does. Now, by law, Every publicly traded company, if you're a publicly traded corporation, must report their financials. They have to report them quarterly, which is your 10Q. They have to report them annually, which is your 10K. In these reports is when they release earnings. Now, the date when they're going to release earnings, typically all the corporations release them around the same time, and that's where you get the term earnings season. All right, earnings being released, earnings season. And typically, you're looking at, you know, four times a year, quarterly, end of each quarter. When the earnings are finally released, Wall Street analysts, traders, investors, people like you and me, we track those earnings. If the earnings are better than expected, then we expect the stock to actually run up in value and push the stock price higher. The reason why it's going to push the stock price higher, when those earnings are announced, the Wall Street analysts, like you and I, are going to take those numbers, they're going to analyze them, they're going to drop them into the valuation model, and come up with a new price target. If the price target is significantly higher than where the stock is now, you're going to see the stock run in that area. If the corporation misses earnings, Wall Street's expecting one number, they come in a lot lower. If they miss earnings, you can expect to see the stock sell off. What's going to happen again is analysts are going to analyze the number, they're going to analyze the corporation, they're probably going to lower their valuation, and once the valuation is low, its stock price is going down. In a lot of cases, stock price will move before analysts even put their numbers out. Why? Again, people like you and me who track this data, we see it, we make moves based upon that data. You'll have some traders who are aggressive, and what they'll do is they'll look to take a position in the stock before the earnings come out. So if they're expecting really positive earnings, they're expecting it to be a surprise to the upside, they'll go long the stock ahead of the earnings. Now, that's risky. And the reason why it's risky is if the corporation misses those earnings, the stock's probably going to sell off. But the other side is, if they're right, they're going to give a huge move to the upside. You can do the same thing if you believe the company's going to miss earnings. If the company's going to miss earnings, think they're going to miss earnings, and they do miss earnings, the stock price most likely is going to come down. Case in point, PayPal just reported earnings. They reported earnings last night after the close. They missed the number, stock sold off basically 25%, down 43, 44 points. That's what you can see. Now, the traders who were expecting that and got short ahead of the number made money. For you and I, based on this, I didn't buy, got, get short ahead of the number, but I could probably get short now. And the reason why I can get short now is there's probably going to be a lot of follow through on this. In other words, it's not going to be a one day event. So that's what's going on with Wall Street. I'm going to wrap it up again with one saying. Wall Street uses earnings to keep score. If they're better than expected, stock's going higher. If they're worse than expected, stock's going down. It's just that simple. Thank you for watching the video. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button. Look for more Ask the Professor videos on Fenstream TV. You can follow me on Instagram at Professor Milligan. Tune in every Wednesday on the market close for my Wall Street Wednesday, where I discuss the market, trading ideas, strategies, and things of that nature. Feel free to email me any questions that you might have. You never know, I might do a video on it. You can email me at askprofessormilligan at professormilligan.com.